So, ayan, si Mazda RX-8. Mazda 13B. 13B MSP High Power. 6 port. So, here's the engine. We're about to install it. It's completed minus the parts, the lower intake manifold, the upper intake manifold, the oil jets, the oil metering pump. There, that's the Mazda RX-8 that I bought only for 70,000 pesos. It's near its completion of running this Mazda RX-8 again. Engine cover, it says uh, Renesis, multi-side port. So, why is it called a multi-side port engine? I'll show you here why it's called the multi side port battery engine. Here's why it is called the multi side port battery engine. You'll see here this is the original 13B exhaust port, but uh, for the RX8 13B MSP Renesis, uh, it's just closed. The exhaust port is not here anymore already on the side plates this one for the rear rotor and this one for the front rotor and this uh this one at the center uh the front and rear rotor combines to this one port so for the intake port we have here the primary intake ports and we also have here the secondary intake ports this one here on the rear rotor and this one on the front rotor and why it's called the 6 port because you have the 2 primary ports 1, 2 and 3 and 4 for the front and rear rotor and 5 and 6 on the top for the 5 and 6 ports so you have 6 ports for the 4 port 13B this one at the top one of the front rotor and one of the rear rotor at the top there's no port here only the one at the bottom part this one is for the oil jet and this one is for the primary fuel injectors this is just a coolant passage for the throttle body and this is the ECT sensor the oil filter the flywheel and you count your rotor number based on the number of this aluminum part since this is the rotor housing it is where the rotor is located so if you see two aluminum part of the rotary engine, it's a two rotor engine. If you see three aluminum parts, you have a three rotor. If you have four aluminum parts, you have a four rotor. This is the water pump pulley. This is the main drive pulley. You can't call it as a main crank pulley since the shaft is not a crank shaft but a eccentric shaft. You can call it as a eccentric shaft pulley, main pulley. This one is for the water pump and the alternator and this one is for the aircon compressor. Power steering is not included since this is already an uh, electric powered uh, power steering, not the hydraulic type. So we're about to install the engine. See here we cleaned the bell housing, the inside of the bell housing. So we're removing the factory heater core line not needed anymore so here it is the heater core line it's not needed anymore so here we are uh -huh, tumama. Okay, ayan na. Uh, to the bell housing and into the six speed manual transmission. Oop, oop. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Okay, ayan na. Okay, Baba, pa, clear. Baba, 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 Baba,
kanya-kanya tayo po ito eh kaya ako nandito sa kabila ikaw okay, nandiyan ka Taas konti. Pagangat mo, umangat na yan ha. Taas konti? Oo. Oh. Angat lang. Up. Yun. So, the engine is already in. Uh, just the completion of the external engine parts. The engine is very clean. That's the exhaust manifold.